Hey, I'm Mac, and this is a showcase build of the new Plazas and Promenades Steel Sea and the Seaside Resort and Mid-Century Modern Content Creator Packs, all on one map. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment. Now let's just jump into it. I have finished the road layout. So we will have a nice car-free city core. I also did go ahead and put the basic service in like school and so forth. I also already painted in the pedestrian area, placed the building for garbage and cargo, and applied the new specialization for wall-to-wall -wall residential, office and commercial. Now let's get some zoning in. So the zoning has nicely filled in, with low density on the outskirts and high density around the center. I've also added a lot of roads with bike lanes so people can bike through the city. All the green space that's still left we will fill in with assets from the new DLC. I love how that turned out. These new props and assets are really great. I, I think you can do a lot with them and this is just a little example. Now let's take care of the space behind the hospital. I want to place a helipad there for the rescue helicopter and maybe a little park where the sick people can get some fresh air and walk around.
And another part is finished. I love how it turned out. And I can't wait to see the helicopter land there. And I made sure it's also well lit at night. Especially the helipad. You, you don't want to land in the dark, right? <laughs> and next up, let's take care of the high school. Or more, the area around the high school. And the school is done. I even added another elementary school. We get the sports hall and two basketball fields. And a little custom plaza where they can get something to eat when they're hungry. And there it is, the last part filled in, in the city. A little park behind the elder care center with the pond. Seems weird in a city building game, but I love to build nature. And I would say that's looking fantastic. Now that the city is done, where I showcase the plazas and promenades DLC, I want to move on to an old town, down at the lake, where I will use the seaside resort buildings to build an old town. For that, I put already a grid in. I tried to give it this old grid vibes, where roads and streets got altered over time, some got added, some got removed or partially removed. Now I got it all filled in, well, mostly. There's still the big space in the middle where I want to put a park. And of course the waterfront is not done yet. Also it turns out the University City's buildings fit in nicely with the seaside resort ones. So if you want to build an old town, that's the way to go in vanilla. But sadly there are no fitting commercial buildings for that. At least in vanilla. You can probably find some on the workshop. And if you're wondering about all the shadow flickering, I don't know, there seems to be a bug with the update. I hope that will be fixed soon, and it's quite a lie. <laughs> and the hall of locomotives, right next to the train station. And as you can see, tourists love this town. <laughs> they are going mad. And of course we also got the town hall, which is the tax office. But it looks so much like a town hall. And it fits with the theme. Now I'm gonna take care of the park and the waterfront. And there's the park. I kept it fairly simple. It's just a place to walk around and chill. Also, people now are waiting in the middle of the road for a taxi. I don't know why they do that. If Did they always do that? And I just didn't notice? I, I don't know. But it seems to be that right. And here's what I did to the lakeside. A lot of rocks and greenery. Some space to hang out and enjoy the lake. Also I thought this old boat museum fits here in as well. A little restaurant on the pier right next to the city hall. And of course on the lake you also need a fishing pier. And a park where you can get some sun.
And right in the middle between the city and the old town, I want to build something with the mid-century modern pack. To be more precise, a few hotels and a residential area for fancy people. That's the road layout I'm going for here. Nothing too fancy, but nicely planned out. I think that will fit the theme pretty good. And there it is, a mid-century modern district. Down here we got the hotels and some commercial where people can go shopping. I also integrated these new parking garages with the roof. And I think Rebo, the guy who made these, just didn't think of the campers. <laughs> so I guess that would be nice to be fixed if they were a little higher so they could park it. <laughs> On the corner over here we got some basic services. Fire, police, Healthcare, death care, and a pool. Also, I placed this little park in the middle because why not? I'm sure people will enjoy it. Yeah, there's already someone enjoying it, and another one. So that is great. And the people living here are kind of fancy. You can see they all get pools and all that stuff. So I figured they might like a little tennis club. Also, with a little pool area, a clubhouse. The buildings usually come with palms, but that didn't really work with the theme of the map. So I used Bob to switch them out to Young Lin Street. I hope you enjoyed the build as much as I did. And I think it turned out great. Let me know in the comments what you like the best. And why not subscribe and like. Also, if you want to show me what you did with the new content creator packs and DLC, just join the Discord and post your pictures. Or tag me on Twitter. And if you want to support the channel, you can click the Patreon link in the description. Until then, be creative, have a great day, and I hope I see you next time. Bye-bye!